overreactive nerves. That's the problem. And so Lyrica is a, um, is a, 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 a cousin of something called gabapentin, which you, some of you may have met. Gabapentin's got a lot of side effects. doesn't really work particularly well for, for fibromyalgia, but Lyrica, which is the precursor, pre gabapentin it actually does. And it also has the FDA seal of approval. And this is more expensive than those, mm. and so it's a sort of $5 a day and up. And again, you can have a very special application from a specialist, but the difficulty is even though they're accepted for treatment uh, by the FDA in New Zealand, they don't fund it, so you have to have some other kind of nerve problem before this will be funded. Mm. Those are the newer medications, really, and there's a, actually there's a whole raft. There's there's many others. There's um, but there's one fascinating one which has just come. As this, this is so interesting about medicine is that uh, you start off with something for using a medication for something, and then years later it re pops up again <coughs> something else completely. And there's something called pendulum. Now somebody, somebody says they know Pindalol? No? No, Pindalol. Pindalol is its other name is Vizchem, which is what's called a beta blocker. It works for, it's been used for blood pressure for years and years and years. It acts by blocking the effect of adrenaline. So, a lot of the problem with fibromyalgia is that your body is in a constant stress state. You're making, you're not, you're, you're in a stress state. So, blocking the effect of adrenaline give, causes muscle relaxation and cause, it may reduce, may, may, could, could, may reduce your pain. But this is no, this is not new, this is not expensive, and there are no hidden hooks here. In other words, it's, it's something that's been used for years. And you can get that from the doctor. Obviously. And that you can get, but your doctor may not know that you can use it for... He doesn't know. No. no. That's interesting <laughs> to me because I've got PTSD and part of it is the hypervigilism, so I'm constantly in fight and fight. So this could be just mm. incredible. Yes, yes. can be really, really useful. Now, with the, um, with the Lyrica being anti-epileptic, I'm on Topamax. I've tried Topamax. Right, right. And it's Has it made a difference? majorly different for me for the migraine. Yes. Um, and then I went to see Ross Valens and she said to increase it to mm. one at lunchtime and one at night to, mm. and she said it would have a major impact on the pain. Well, I haven't really noticed that. It, does, it, doesn't, uh, it, it doesn't, it's not a useful, not a particularly useful medication in fibromyalgia. But for the migraine, it's been mind blowing. Mm. Good. Okay. Good. <laughs> yes, yes, yep, cool. yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, any other searching questions? Because I think we've probably got to go. Well, all, just, all, all, can all, I just all. ask one question? Yes. Has the fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue and anything got any link with um, later on um, senile dementia? No. Yeah. No. Because my mum developed that. And I'm really worried that yeah. I'm right. No. no. <laughs> Did your mum have fibromyalgia? I don't know. Yeah, she may well have, because a lot of people of her generation just suffered in silence. Mm -hmm. yes. And they just, and they sort of, oh my God, and she's having another bad day. Yeah, that's, that's right. So she, so she may well have. That's the present you got from her, but senile dementia has nothing to do with uh, fibromyalgia. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just one last question, one for the road. Yes? some assessment doctors um, say that you've got psychosomatic and it's <coughs> basically. Yes, it's because, it's, it's because they're ignorant. Exactly. Uh, uh, <laughs> and, 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 and in fact, before 1990, the, you know, when all the soldiers came back from the Second World War, right. and they all just kind of tottered back and 30-40% and, and of them had fibromyalgia, they had just this, which has now been seen again in the Gulf War and so on, it, at that stage, it was given a, a name which was psychogenic blood. Mm -hmm. So it's all in your head. Mm -hmm. Now the funny old thing is, it is, <laughs> <laughs> but for other reasons. So, but you you it's not a psychological problem. You can become depressed, as 
part of it, but the oppression is different from the fibromyalgia, which is different from the chronic fatigue. Mm. They're different, but the underlying process is a central sensitization, central neural sensitization. That's the fundamental problem. And, and if your doctor says it's all in your, your head, you say you're right, but if he says, he says it's psychological, you can say you're ignorant. So it's really ICC um, uh, assesses, they will uh, say. Yes. And then, of course, they will. They will. They will. The they ACC, they're, they're a, oh yeah, maybe I can't go on. But <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> yes. 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 That yeah. depression is, is often a sort of despair, isn't it? Of yes. Not, not being able to get well again. That's right. Yes. That's right. Yes. That's yes. Right. Yes. 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 Thank you. That's my pleasure. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. This is medicinal. This is what you look to start seeing. Thank you very much. I'm sure everybody enjoyed that. That was Fantastic. Thank you so much. Best time. Really appreciate it. I'll just say one thing about sleeping tablets are, are absolutely not helpful and they're highly addictive, as is beware of talkback radio. <laughs>